Students recently have put out a video to attract support and get the board's attention. Let's take a look at it. The administration there at Vanderbilt uh, seems to want to uh, create tolerance and non-discrimination, this all-comers policy, which uh, uh, is doing just the opposite of that. I'm concerned now that because of Vanderbilt's uh, actions, they indeed now are, in my opinion, discriminating against the Christian organizations. To talk about this discrimination, Vanderbilt University student Stephen Shaw and Abby Sutton, Vice President of College Republicans. Good morning. Tell us what's going on about this most recent campus uh, buzz, uh, and do you think you're going to be able to win this issue? Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. For, Hi. Thank you for having us. Um, well, right now, as it stands, uh, the Board of Trust just met last week, and uh, the administration has really been misleading the students uh, and the legislature in, in this matter. And as of right now, we don't see them reversing the policy, but there is a, a bill and amendment in the legislature that could effectively do that. Okay, uh, Stephen, Abby, what happened originally was there were two statements. The original statement for the organization was that criteria for officer selection will include level and quality of past involvement, personal commitment to Jesus Christ and commitment to the organization, and demonstrated leadership ability. The university said, take that out about Jesus Christ. And then you folks stepped into action. Abby, what are your thoughts uh, on this Sunday morning uh, about this effort by Vanderbilt? Well, we just really want to convey that leadership does matter to maintain the integrity of our organization and that um, the inconsistency of the all-comers policy um, and not being applied across the board equally to Greek life um, when Greek life discriminates against um, new members uh, just by the nature of recruitment, whether their hair color, what they're wearing, or what activities they're involved in. And the problem is that Vanderbilt isn't consistently applying this policy, and we don't want Greek life to go away. I, as a member of a sorority, I love Greek life. It's a great part of campus, but we just want the policy to be applied equally to all organizations, including Greek life. So you say there's a double standard. Where do we bring mm -hmm. people together on this uh, Sunday morning? How do we get this done? Are these groups, these Christian groups, now going to step out of the university-sanctioned uh, organization structure? Well, right, right now, 15 of the 30 organizations have said they have either left campus already or said they're going to leave campus. That's half of the Christian organizations on campus representing thousands of students. And what we're really trying to do is rally alumni because they're not listening to the students. So. Uh, we really need more alumni to get involved and speak with their donations particularly. And uh, to get involved, they can visit VanderbiltReligiousFreedom.com uh, to find a lot more information about this. Stephen and Abby, thank you for getting up for us. We'll see you again. Keep us informed, please. Good to see you.